It has been one of their toughest civil engineering challenges in its 44-year career in operating trains. But yesterday, Seven Valley Railway were chuffed to celebrate the official reopening of Bewdley Tunnel. We're celebrating our winter engineering works and the railway is also celebrating 150 years since the line first opened between Worcester and Shrewsbury. So it's quite fitting that we should be celebrating engineering work which is uh, looking after the infrastructure that was built so many years ago. The three-month project cost a quarter of a million pounds and was needed to repair the out-of-date drainage system causing waterlogging in the tunnel. A job that presented many challenges. The biggest problem with the project was the time scale and the restricted access because obviously you're working in a tunnel which has only got access at, at each end. You've got to get all the material out and all the material in. So it was the logistics of it. If you were doing it in a field, it would have been a relatively straightforward job. It was the restricted access that made it difficult in a, a tight time scale. 550 metres of track were lifted and replaced. And also we took the opportunity to um, repoint some of the brickwork inside. Where the trains have gone through for 150 years, the, the smoke from the chimney blows out the pointing. So we did some local repointing and um, things like that whilst we were in there and had the access that you don't normally get. Volunteer Bob Clift was part of the team who carried out the work. I think it's an achievement by everybody involved, quite frankly. I'm proud to be a part of the team that's done it. The Seven Valley Railway celebrates its 150th anniversary. And if we don't do this work, and if we don't continue to do work like this, then we just won't have a Seven Valley Railway in the future. What we're really doing is safeguarding the future of the line for, for the people who uh, want to travel on it in 20, 30, 40, 50, 150 years' time. So it's full steam ahead.